I hate it is seeing the hypocrisy coming from those on the left side of the aisle where if you are specific come from a specific walk of life and you don't vote a specific way then all of a sudden the names come out all of a sudden the ugliness rears its head all of a sudden everything that that side claims to be against they all of a sudden are supporting um and making sure they shout you down I've been seeing a lot of it online lately. I'm curious if you're seeing it as well. It's just like it, right now, it just feels like it's right in my face and it's starting to tick me off if I'm being honest. Am I seeing the hypocrisy? Yes, I'm seeing it and I'm living it. Um, it's unfortunate. It's been going on for a long time. But now as we see this rise in the movements from the left to just be the gatekeepers of all things positive and diversity and inclusion and whatever, a lot of them are really struggling with what that actually means. Um, you know, I got into it with a creator yesterday because she didn't like that I critiqued the, um, the NDP's communication strategies. And like the NDP supporters on that video went full horseshoe theory with PPC, where they were like, yeah, this video has 100,000 likes. It's like, okay, do you think that's going to win you the election now? Because that's legitimately what the PPC thought in the last election. So I had noticed in the comments of this creator's video that she was like, yeah, she said resignating instead of resonating. Go correct her, please. So I was getting like all these comments, like whatever. So I made a follow up video being like, yeah, sometimes I mess up words. You know, I especially like it's actually really sad if you think about it, because these are people that pretend to be so inclusive, right? No space for hate. And it's like if you actually think about it, I had some pretty heavy shit happen really early on in my life, you know, being apprehended, going through foster care, you know, having an entirely new family a different home when I was raised by my grandparents and I struggled so much in school because of how different I was. I was also bullied for not being raised by my parents, which was really hard to deal with. But I dealt with, you know, even when I got to like be 12, 13, 14 years old, I watched a brother go through really heavy addictions and substance abuse. And then in my early 20s, saw a sibling that started in that path as well, and then eventually died from it. There were significant barriers in my life and a learning disability was a part of that. And now that I've been an adult and have went through assessments and diagnoses, it was severe, like very, very severe. The fact I even graduated high school and went on to university amazes me. But her followers were also like making fun of that. They're like, yeah, she made an entire video about her ADHD. Ha ha ha. It's like, okay, like, wow, you guys are so damn ignorant and you're so lost. And that creator was like, I'm not even like an NDP or I'm so far left. No, you're not. Because the actual leftists I know that are like super left, kind of anti-government, don't go around policing other people, their opinions, making them feel crappy voting the way that they do. But then for that one person to come swooping in with the watermelon emoji and then being like, yeah, this is why residential school has existed. Go back to school. I'm like, holy man. And I'm in the car with my husband and I'm like, damn, like it's not so much that like these people can hurt me, but it's the fact that our country is built off of systemic oppression residential schools are our darkest stain on our history and in your mind it's so like you have the capacity to make fun of somebody for that you like you're evil at this point like there's no saving that like that's but it's hypocrisy right like if i were that creator it's like i would number one tell these people to knock it off because i have had it out with creators before where like my followers have not been nice to these people and I find out about it and I'm like, oh man, like, please don't go down that path. Don't send people like on the live threats. Don't be ignorant. Don't be making fun of the way they look or anything like that. But yeah, to openly tell your followers to come to me, like you did that, you openly told them to come to me and then that's what they come with. No words. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's, I, I said to Josh earlier, I said, it's the egalitarian left, right? Coming in here being like, we got to shut down these conservatives because they hate women, they hate diversity and, and all this stuff. And then you see the vitriol that's spewed. And like you said, just like at a level of racism that, you know, it would be like telling a Jew to go to a concentration camp. Like, it's just, it's horrific. And then for that to be what they're saying. And then in the same breath, being like, we can't, we can't support... <laughs> We can't support Pierre Polyev and his white supremacy. It's like, really? Because <laughs> he seemed to be pretty okay with it there. <laughs> Gee. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I do want to go back to your, your comment there about, um, you know, the leftists that I know uh, don't stand for these things. And um, I'll, I'll say this uh, about that creator in particular. Um, they are very clear that they, they said, yeah, they're, they're further left. 
Um, and which shows to me, based on obviously their screen name too, that they identify with the ideology of communism, um, which is actually for what, based on what they said and what they stand for is actually, it's hand in hand. It's right there. Um, it's an ideology that has murdered millions upon millions of people. Um, so it's actually um, spot on, if I'm being honest. And I just want to make that clear because like to the actual leftists, like this is not reflective of them whatsoever. Um, and like who are actually fair and who actually believe in, in loving people and empathizing with people. There's things I'll disagree with them fiscally for sure. But yeah, this this was something else and it's there's no space for it whatsoever and a lot of, unfortunately these extremists that really are driving a lot of the rhetoric in our country unfortunately there was a leftist creator who i believe is an ndp supporter that made a video about me today and i posted it to my stories and you can go watch it she basically i think it's gen x to the left or something like that and she made this comment full of tons of compliments about me which she didn't need to do but she had pointed out a couple things that I didn't even really think about, but that obviously stuck for her. And she said, yeah, like when I first had seen Jennifer on my For You page, it was because she was fighting with another content creator that said Pierre Polyev is on drugs. So it was that infamous little spat that I had with that <laughs> content creator that's now saying I'm paid by the Conservative Party, which you know, good thing she faded off into the wind where she belongs. But this content creator was like, yeah, she reached out to me and asked if she could stitch me and was very respectful about it. And I did. I, I stitched her. And then since then, we've had like private conversations. And she's like, yeah, a few weeks ago, like conservatives were being really mean in my comment section. And Jennifer came in basically telling them to like grow up and knock it off. And in my mind, that didn't even stick with me. I, like I just thought it was the right thing to do. So I said it and moved on. But for her, that spoke about my character to her. And it's like, I don't need to be complimented or publicly praised for doing the right thing. Like if conservatives are being rude, I have no problem telling conservatives. Like, and it's hilarious to these people that are like, oh, she's paid by the conservative party or she's a right winger or whatever. It's like, I literally fought with conservatives all week. So me posting that video about the NDP was switching it up a little bit. It's like, I'm not paid by anybody, nor do I need to be towing anyone's line. It's just, I have my feelings, my values and my morals about how I feel about things. And politically, I'm not going to be told what to do. But if you're going to come at me with racism to try to like belittle me into thinking like you, it's not going to work. Amen to that. Yeah. And like that's that's the part that I kind of struggle with. It's like, what are you trying to gain? Is it just really that you're just trying to be vengeful and satisfy some weird urge that you have to rip somebody else down? Are you actually trying to get her to see the light? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what is it that you're trying to gain? Because if you really are trying to get people to come to your side, that's not going to work. <laughs> and that's what I see with a lot of this content too, because I follow a couple different creators. And um, there was a couple that at a point in time I had followed and I had to unfollow them because when I was looking at their stuff, I was like, man, you, you have one you have one way of talking about one person and then you have a completely different way of talking about another person. It just feels disingenuous and just wrong. It feels, it feels like the ick, it feels gross. And so when I look at it, I'm just like, how do you think that you're going to get people to your side? And I've just noticed that they don't care. They don't want people to come to their side because they feel like they're so right and that they're so beyond reproach that they're, they're almost at this religious state of, of self-righteousness that they don't care. And that to me is where I keep running into problems because I'm like, get off your pedestal, <laughs> come down, realize that these people are people like you and I, and they need to be treated with respect. Well, and even like with that NDP video, there, there's a lot of misunderstanding on how things actually work. And like, I'm a data driven person and have obviously been, you know, pointing to the public opinion polls for a very long time. I've actually been involved with the creation and distribution of polling, not in any way political. It was actually for something completely different. But it amazes me that in the last election, Jagmeet Singh was doing his most TikToking. And people were like, yeah, this is innovative, including me. I remember he did the shower trend and everyone's like, what is this? And I was like, he's appealing to young voters. And like, it, it seems to be working. Like they're loving his content. It's doing really well. He was doing TikTok dances with his wife, but then it didn't resonate in the Canadian election results. Mm -hmm. And now that's what it's trying, like trying to explain this to these people is it's like, okay, he's appealing to young voters who are the most underrepresented when it comes to voting. They're not showing up in as high in numbers, but at what 
stake is he doing that at? So he's appealing to young voters that are still a majority of them are, are supporting Pierre Polyev right now, it appears, which is fine, whatever. But if he's abandoning the older generation who think it's cringe and can't stand it, then where is the middle ground? Because you have to be good at both. Mm -hmm. So Pierre Polyev won't do the trends. He won't even go to a hockey game. He could loosen up a little bit is what he could do. <laughs> but he's speaking to like the younger folks by like, I want you to be able to afford a house. Let's talk about the Canadian dream. You used to be able to work hard and be able to afford these things. And Jugmeet Singh is like, I'm going to do this TikTok trend with the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. And that's, I'm going to win the election. And then, and then his like, People that love him are like, he ate with that. And I'm yeah. like, cooked. He cooked. Can we just fast forward to the next election now so that I can come back and be like, what did I tell you? That was electric, wasn't it? Well, we enjoyed it. Hope you did too. If you did, you can check this video out here to the top right corner, right near my window. Get over, get over, get over. There it is. There it is right there. And if you liked that, you can also check this one out right here. We love you. Have a good one. Peace out.